What's going on guys, Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape, and today we're gonna to be changing oil on a 2003 GMC 2500 HD with a Duramax engine. First thing we gotta do is get the truck in the shop. Almost went a little bit overboard there on the ramps. A bit all right though, I've done that before. You just gotta pull them out and reposition. So we're ready to crawl under there. What you're gonna need when you go under the first time is a 16 millimeter socket on a ratchet. And I prefer to use a little extension. Helps to keep it out of the way a little bit. I got a light. I got some paper towels in case I spill anything. And then I've got my drain pan. And what I like to do is crawl under there and get the filter loose first before you start getting the drain plug out or letting any oil out. That way once all the oil is out, you know you can pop that right off and go on with your business. So I always like to start with the oil filter. I don't take it all the way off. I just get it to where I know I can get it off with my hands. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Whenever it gets real hot, they can tend to stick on there and you gotta use some kind of tool or I know some people use their belts. You got all kinds of methods, but I prefer to just drive a screwdriver through it and get it off that way. So we'll see if it comes loose or not. If it does, I'll get all the oil draining out and we'll get prepped to put everything back together. And if it doesn't, I'll come back, grab a screwdriver and a hammer. I need a screwdriver and a hammer. This is what I resort to. I give it a couple tries and if it doesn't come, I'm not wasting my breath on it. I'm gonna get it off. So what we got right now, we got the oil draining out and I poked a little hole with the screwdriver in the oil filter to let that oil drain out before I bust through it. So if you look down there, I don't know if you can see, but you got two, two oil streams. Whoever put this oil filter on should be punched in their face. I drove this screwdriver through and trying to pry off the filter, I bent the screwdriver. Should never be anywhere close to that tight. Gonna have to get a bigger screwdriver. Two things you always wanna do when you change your oil. When you take out your drain plug, check on the bottom right here on the bottom of that bolt and make sure that there's no metal shavings. That's a magnet on every truck I've ever owned or every vehicle I've ever owned, that's been a magnet. So if you got any kind of issues going on inside, that will let you know if you got some metal flying around. So that's number one, check that. And number two, always put oil in your oil filter. So you wanna fill it up until it starts spilling out the top a little bit up here. And then you wanna put a good bead of oil around this seal. Put some down in that hole, and then get some on your finger, and just make sure you got a good coating around this seal here. And you're ready to put these two back on. And real quick, I'll show you exactly where this stuff is located. So this is the driver's door. Crawl under the driver's door. And right there you have your filter. And right there you have your plug. And that white filter is your transmission filter. Don't touch that. But if you're looking at it, that's kind of how it looks. You got your oil filter up to the left. You got your drain plug kind of right in the middle. Your drain plug member is a 16 millimeter. And remember, if some of the person that put it on before you is an imbecile, you will need a hammer and a flathead screwdriver to get that off. But Nonetheless, you get them off and you get it changed. The oil filter should be hand tight with one hand and you're not trying to prove to anybody how strong you are. Just get it on there nice and snug. You've gotta be able to get it off. And this is the oil and filter that we're using. You got a Wix 57202 and you got the Shell Rotella T4, the triple protection. 
15W40. My light's dying so you probably can't see this too well, but this is where you fill up your oil right here. Right in between your AC compressor and your alternator. And as long as you can read, it's clearly labeled engine oil. Pop that guy off, stick your final in, and fill her up. And if you're short like me, probably gonna need a ladder. It calls for 10 quarts of oil or two and a half gallons, which is what that jug is that I bought, two and a half gallons. But I always leave a little bit in there. You don't want to fill it all up and then there'll be too much in there and have to drain some out. And your engine's always going to hold a little bit. You're never going to drain out every last drop. So I always leave a little bit in the jug, check it, drive it a little bit, check it again, and then top it off as needed. But don't overfill it. So I took it for a little test drive. We'll check the oil, top it off, get it to the correct level, and that'll be it. And the dipstick's located right back here, right behind the air intake. Looks like we're a little low. And that's all there is to it. Sometimes, like this time, you gotta fight it, but it is what it is. You gotta get the filter off and you gotta get the new filter on and the oil in there. So whatever you gotta do to get it off and get old oil out, that's just what you gotta do. If you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Let's us know you enjoy what you're seeing. Also hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below and let us know what you thought. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at Nickens Lawn and Landscape. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.